Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is episode 7, and Ed and Al are on their way to Central to find out about the Philosopher's Stone, and Marco, Dr. Marco's uh, research notes, and yeah, uh, Dr. Marco has been, I'm gonna guess, taken and not killed so that he can make more Philosopher's Stones for the Seven Sins. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to continue. If you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below, and we'll get started. Ah! Dr. Marco's research! It's all gone! <sighs> wow. With that issue taken care of, I thought I would come to see how things are progressing in East City. Is he here? I smell him. I can smell him. The scar face just fallen. He's close. I can taste his stink like blood. I still get to eat him right. Oh, yes, down to the last strand of hair. Whoa. Are they afraid he's gonna kill someone they need? Holy crap. The car hasn't been sighted. This case has obviously gotten to be too much for Central to handle. If I can close it quickly enough, I'll be golden. Hm. Promotion? Fishing I've for promotion? I've got a ladder to climb, and this is how it's done. I need every mark in my favor that I can get. At least until I've assumed the office of Fuhrer, that is. You may not Whoa. want to display your ambitions quite so nakedly. Scar's coat. There's no mistaking it. This was definitely Scar's jacket. I want his body found. Don't take so much as a coffee break until that's done. Do you understand? Ouch. Come on, Colonel. Can't you cut us some slack? At this rate, you're gonna work us all to death. She's Shut in, up! They're in the I don't audience. get to relax until I've seen his body, and that means you don't get to either. I guess we'll get to work then. <laughs> Looks like you got away. I didn't get my snack. Yes, I know. Maybe next time. Oh, Second Lieutenant Ross and Sergeant Brosh. To what do we owe this pleasure? You have been ordered to report back to the command center, sir. We'll be taking over supervision of Edward Elric and his brother effective immediately. Huh. Very well is yours. What is this? Just when I think I'm home free, they saddle me with more bodyguards? This is <laughs> getting face. old! Why are you wearing a suit of armor? <laughs> it's a hobby! A hobby? What kind of freaky hobby is that, Lieutenant? Who are these boys, anyway? So, what do you say, Al? It's a lovely view, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> is someone there? Please help me. She's being crushed by her books. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Brother? But There's somebody under there! <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry. I got myself trapped under a whole mountain of books. You worked at the library. Uh, oh, the library. The word itself is so beautiful. I've loved books my whole entire life, ever since I first learned to read as a girl. A job was heaven. <laughs> but I forgot that I was supposed to be working, and all I ever did was read. Aww. So they fired me, and I'm hopeless. The only thing I can do well is read. I'll never find another job as long as I live. <laughs> I'm useless, good for nothing, more pathetic than pops <laughs> Excuse me, there was one thing we wanted to ask you. Yes? Do you remember seeing any research belonging to someone named Tim Marco? Let's see, Tim Marco. Where do I know that name? Oh, yes, of course, I remember now. Written, Written in code, belong. probably. The notes really were there after all. Which means they burned up along with everything else in the life. <laughs> Did you want to read them? Is that why you're asking? She memorized Sorry to all bother of you. I remember everything that was in them. Would that help at all? <laughs> <laughs> it's just how I am. I'm able to remember the content of any book I've ever read. <laughs> It'll take a while, but I could write them out for you. Thank you, Bookworm. <laughs> you're my hero. <laughs> Here this is so are, comical. Complete copies of all Tim Marco's notes. <gasps> Pay her. Sorry, Pay I know her. five days is a long time to wait, but there was quite a lot to write down. One thousand easy recipes. <laughs> Six cups of feeling. rice, one carrot, two onions, salt. Oh, great. Does this mean we came all this way for a cookbook? Are you absolutely sure this is a flawless reproduction of the notes? Oh, yes. I'm 100% certain. 
then thank you very much. You're incredible. All right, hey, let's her. get these back to the library. Oh, Seriously, five days I of work. I almost forgot Jessica's fee. There we go. Lieutenant, here. This is my registration number and the pocket watch for ID. Withdraw huh? that amount from my annual research grants and make sure Sheska gets it. Okay? Annual research grants. Right. Well, Sheska, you're a lifesaver. Bye. Is it a lot, a lot of money? From his research grants, huh? <laughs> Did he miss a decimal point somewhere? <laughs> wow. How does a boy like that have this kind of money to throw around? Good, good. I'm glad that he paid her. I, I... But they're actually advanced alchemical notes. Only the alchemist who originally wrote them can understand. If they're so heavily encrypted, then how are you going to be able to decipher them? It's not going to be easy. <laughs> Why does this encryption have to be so damn hard to figure out? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe we should ask Dr. Marco about this directly. I was able to move my mother to a better hospital. I really appreciate it. Nah, it was no big deal, really. Have you had any luck deciphering it so far? Mm. Have you found another job yet? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Yo. Hughes. Major Armstrong told me you two were here. What gives, Ed? I told you to give me a shout the next time you made it to Central. Oh, yeah. uh, something urgent came up. Sorry. It's just as well. I've been busy too. They talk to yeah, Colonel Hughes like he's an old friend. Forward, just how <laughs> high up are these boys? Tippy top. had a lot of cake. The first branch had to burn down in the middle of all this. That's been a problem, huh? A big one. All our case records were stored in the stacks at that location, and trying oh. to work without them hasn't been a picnic, let me tell you. Wow. Uh. Hey, Lieutenant Colonel, oh. I think I've got exactly the person you guys are looking for. I do remember them all. That's all I needed to hear, lady. You're hired. <gasps> Thanks so much. I'll have faith, just like you told me to. Thank you. Oh my god. Come on now, right to work. <laughs> she may not be I think dedication is a talent all on its own. <laughs> yeah, it is. Very smooth, little brother. You Very work at smooth. it though. Well, it's something I always think whenever I see a certain someone I know. <laughs> In that case, a certain someone should hurry and get back to work, <laughs> or you're gonna have to come up with a new motivational phrase. This is just a feel-good episode. What did you guys do to this place? We cracked the code and decrypted the notes. Really? You did? But that's a good thing, isn't it? There's nothing good about this, damn it! This is the devil's research. The main ingredient for a philosopher's stone is human life. Oh. In order to manufacture even a single stone, you have to make multiple human sacrifices. How could the military authorize research into something so horrible? They, they use those fallen lives. Awful. Don't speak to anyone about this. You shouldn't but have told sir, them in the first place. Please. The Elric brothers are holed up in their room again tonight? Yes. They haven't been eating either. Hmm. The fatigue must be catching up to them. Time to strip. They seem to have devoted all their energy to these notes. They worked so hard to decipher those notes only to find out that. It disturbs me too, just thinking about it. I bet I'd act the same way. What was that? <gasps> Oh, it was nothing, sir. Your behavior is most suspicious. I <laughs> uh, should have guessed how many times he's tripped this episode. I would have guessed one, actually. Open up. This is the major. What do we do? We ignore him, that's what. I know what it said, Edward Elric. How oh, tragic. Oh, no. You think the legend of the Philosopher's Stone is built on such a terrible secret? We're, we're really sorry. It's hard to stay quiet when someone like him asks you. Imagine the military being behind something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> well, maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. What is that? I clue what he was talking about then, but now there's still more to find here. Here, what's this building used for? It was designed for the fifth laboratory, but it isn't currently in use. The I building isn't it's structurally sound, so it's been classified off limits. It's there. There's a prison right next door. Okay, oh. so what was the main ingredient for a philosopher's stone? There'd be plenty of condemned criminals in the prison. Officially, they'd be recorded as executed. We're getting involved in something really dangerous here. I was That's just why about we to told say. you to pretend like you'd never heard anything. <laughs>
Elric brothers, behave yourself. <laughs> I know you two boys. Oh my God. You were thinking about sneaking into this building and taking a look around, weren't you? Admit it. We weren't. We weren't. We promise. He's nodding. Yeah, Al's <laughs> nodding. Sure, we weren't. Fine on my own or not isn't the issue. You're too big to get through here. Die hard. It's not like I asked to get this big. Oh. Damn. It's even tighter in here than I thought. I couldn't get through this far if I was regular size. Lucky I've got a small body. Did you just oh, call yourself? No! I just got myself a tiny little pet squeak. Th those weren't the words you used, but okay. Ah, uh, the show. I was like 15 minutes in, and I was just like, oh, this is such an upbeat episode compared to the last few, and then, ah, uh, human souls. God dang it. Um, yeah, still not entirely sure why Lust and Gluttony are after Scar. Uh, my theory was that the, he might inadvertently kill someone they need, since he did go after Ed, and she said they needed him for a sacrifice. Uh, but it seems like something they might be able to come to an agreement about, like, hey, leave this boy to me, and I'll to help you kill state alchemists unless they also need state alch like not just ed but like all state alchemists i don't know um then again gluttony is able to recognize him by his scent so i'm guess it's possible even probable that they've had run-ins before so there's some history there that we haven't been clued in on um maybe scar knows more about what's going on in this region more than i imagined um Maybe they... Oh, oh, maybe... Okay, wait, hold on a second. Let me... Thoughts coming together. Um, I, theori I theorized that the Ishvalan War was started to get lo the lives necessary for the Philosopher's Stone research during my reaction. Which means... What if Lust and Gluttony had a hand in starting the Ishvalan War? Like, or Envy, like, since he can change into somebody else. Like, what if he changed into a soldier and shot an Ish Ishvalan by accident? Um... If Scar ever found out, or he already knows, he'd be a huge threat. Um, or he'd be... I don't know that he'd be a huge threat since the two of them were almost able to take him out. But hes he'd at least be working against them. Um, honestly, the shooting seemed suspicious to me even when they first mentioned it. Like it was just an excuse to start war. And given what Lust and Gluttony did with um, Cornello and with Envy impersonating Cornello after his death to rile up the masses... Uh, their goal seems to be, um, it seems to require chaos. And, and we all know what, from, um, from Game of Thrones, what chaos is. Um, say it with me. Chaos is a ladder. <laughs> um, and what better way to sow chaos than to start a war, right? But I don't know where that ladder is leading. Is it just power? I don't know if lust and gluttony are power hungry. Like, I don't know what their end goal is. Um, if it is power... They'd probably just go after Fuhrer. They'd probably go after Fury, Fuhrer, Fuhrer Bradley at some point, assuming they're powerful enough. Um, there are seven sins though, so if uh, they're all as powerful as Lust and Gluttony, um, it'd be interesting. I, we saw Bradley be like extremely powerful, so I don't know who would win at this point. I mean, Envy also has the power to transform, so I guess if they wanted Bradley dead, Envy could transform into. Uh, I don't know if he has children or a wife, but he could try transform into them and just kill him already, like that. Uh, I guess they still see him as a tool, like... Oh, like, if Envy winds up killing Bradley in the way I just described, people are gonna... We're gonna have the same thing that we had in the Game of Thrones um, videos where people in the comments are like, You're gonna... You've already seen the show! But yeah, I feel like... Yeah, it feels like I, I might be onto something with... Um, them being the sins possibly being uh somewhat responsible for the Ishvalan war um but yeah that short fight scene um between scar and lust and gluttony that was really intense uh gluttony is freaking terrifying scar was able to cut off gluttony's arm before gluttony ripped his arm off and then lust came in right afterwards 
God, that whole scene and the music just gave me chills. Uh, I think what happened was that Scar blew up the tunnel so that he escaped, so he could escape. Um, but Lust says he'll be out of commission for a while, and she seemed pretty happy about that, so maybe his death is not what they're after, just more like keeping him sidelined and not interfering with them. And, yeah, I was saying earlier maybe it's not specifically Ed they need as a sacrifice, but just like state alchemists in general, which... Um, they also took Dr. Marco probably to make more Philosopher's Stones, so... And we find out later in the episode that human lives are required to make stones, so maybe alchemists are particularly potent ingredients compared to non-alchemists when making the stones? I don't, I don't know. Um, but Lust also mentions father, which... I don't know if that's a... Like, what, what kind of parent names their kid after the seven sins? Like, how did they uh, how did they grow up to be just like their names? Unless, I mean, I guess it's... Cult. It would make much more sense if they were just code names, probably. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Um, but yeah, what are the chances of just coming upon seven people who just happen to embody the seven sins so perfectly? That seems like just wow. Um, I guess I have to like, uh, what is it called? Expand my, extend my suspension of disbelief? Anyway. Uh, Roy says he hopes Scar is still around because he's got a ladder to climb, which, oh my god. <laughs> Chaos is a ladder. Chaos is a ladder. Um, Roy is certainly very angry that Scar has killed his friends and other state alchemists, but if he's able to resolve the chaos that Scar has caused, he'll climb higher. So freaking Peter Baelish is just rearing his head everywhere. Um, <laughs> for the guy in Game of Thrones who says that line, uh, chaos is the ladder. But yeah, uh, Roy wants the top office in the land, Fuhrer, which, wow, um, I guess, I don't, I don't know how old King Bradley is, um. I guess he'll retire at some point, or maybe get killed, uh, which would leave an opening for, ooh, what if Roy, like, lets the Fuhrer get killed so he can move up, Ugh. Anyway, meanwhile, Ed arrives at Central to find the library destroyed, which is Lust's doing. Very lucky to find a woman who has photographic memory, Sheska. Uh, I'm wondering where these tropes started, like, I guess that she, I guessed in, uh, in advance that she remembered everything in the books. Like, did Full Metal Alchemist come up with this trope of people who conveniently have, like, photographic memory, or did it start in some other anime? Because I knew it was about to happen, I was like, for some reason, it was just like, this is the obvious thing that's gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I wonder if that's a trope going back, even further back, or if it originated in Full Metal Alchemist. But yeah, Shesko is so cute, uh, so dramatic also. I'm useless, all I can ever do is read. <laughs> Uh, and I can remember everything I've ever read down to the letter, which, wow. Um, and it's a lucky coincidence for Sheska that all the case records were burned down, too. Um, the Colonel Hughes kind of needs her for, she gets the work there, um, she gets the work, uh, replicating all of them. And I wonder if anybody suspects arson, though, like, pretty coincidental that just as Ed has a lead, it gets burned, right? What if they suspect Sheska, like, you burned it down just so you can get a job transcribing everything. Uh, that would be a heck of a thing to get accused of. And we're introduced to two new members of the military, 2nd Lieutenant Ross and Sergeant Brosh? I think it's Sergeant Brosh. Uh, they're super funny. Um, <laughs> the way they whisper is just really, really cute. And yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it's, they caved so quickly when Armstrong like, pressed them for information. Um, <laughs> and Armstrong... Honestly, just making people look uncomfortable in the workplace with his stripping and his rubbing people on his chest, and oh my god. Um, yeah, Ed was about to tell Al something he's been too afraid to say before Armstrong busts in through the door. What is it? I mean, the only secret we know of that he hasn't shared with um, his brother is his time with uh, the One, the, like the universe, and God, whatever his face is, and the Gate. So maybe that. Um... But yeah, they said something about, Dr. Marco said something about truth behind, so there's a truth behind the truth of um, people being sacrificed for, ooh, that could actually be what my, my theory is, like the truth behind the, behind the truth is that they started Ishvalan war, well actually no, we already knew that, they already mentioned that, yeah, yeah they used Ishvalan law, did they? I'm confused, I'm mixing up my own theories with what happened in this show now, I'm going to rewatch it just to make sure I... I'm following just what's happening in the show and not like letting my imagination get the best of me. Um, but yeah, it leads them, the whole see truth thing leads them to wanting to infiltrate a laboratory where he's worked. So, uh, and they're being attacked by things that don't look exactly human. Um, 
they look humanoid, but it'll be interesting to see. Uh, I cut off right there, which I, I want to watch the episode right next episode right now. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna give this an 8.5 again. Just all these episodes, they it seems I'm like it seems like we're getting a happy episode, and then we're not. Um, I, I think I'm gonna stop being fooled by it. I, I think I've caught on. Every episode is heart wrenching and sad. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to give this an 8.5. Did I say that already? 8.5. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see the full reaction, you can check out Patreon in the link of the description. You know, I'm going to give it a 9, actually. It's probably my favorite episode so far. Uh, eh. Actually, Wind Reeves episode was really great, too. I don't know. Eh, 8.5. I will stick with 8.5. Uh, these past two episodes have been just phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.